Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices and starting with the DAX here on the daily chart we're looking at this at an, in a triangle pattern of wave intermediate wave 3 here an A and a B and a C and a D and an E wave here for wave 4 we can also look at this in terms of a more bullish pattern with this wave 4 here being completed over here and having this as wave 1 here and wave 2 here and then wave 1 of the smaller degree here and then wave 2 pulling back here so it doesn't make a lot of difference but it will make a difference in terms of the trend that unfolds up here further which count this this one is but in terms of trading they're pretty they're very similar and um, yeah, it doesn't make a, a great deal of difference at, at this particular point. But let's go in and have a look at where we are with all of this. So on the four hour chart here with uh, wave D being here or the top of wave one. And then we're looking at this move down here um, as wave A back to the 61.8% retracement level here as wave B and then looking for wave C to the move to the downside. If we were looking at the bullish count then this can be wave 2 here and we can continue to the upside here. So we're going to need a bit of a strategy uh, here with this. So I'll just go to the one hour chart I think so we can just have a little look at this here. So um, let me just squash this in a little bit. So we've got uh, wave D here and we're looking for an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down here for uh, wave 4 of E here. So um, with the bullish count we can have this here as, as wave 2 here. So I'll just copy this here and I'll just grab two of these just to bear with me. It'll just save me looking at the um, it'll just save me looking at um, both charts so to speak for a second. So we can have this as wave two here as well and we can just continue to move up from here um, or we can have this here as wave two over here and having this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave down here in 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, um, yeah, we do need some strategies around here. The important trading levels here are the 500 and the 800. They're the minor levels. And then the halfway mark, which basically makes up part of group 2 here, is the um, 12,650 here. And then, of course, we would have... Um, if we're looking at group two, we would have the 72 in, in, in there. So this number here, the halfway point between these guys is, is critical um, for trading. So we wouldn't want to short the market while it's sitting on top of this, while it's, it's, it's moved up. It's, it's basically, you know, it's come up and it's, it's dropped through, come up and retested. And we're just trying to figure out if it's going to get support here so it's testing support here at the moment it could drop through this is the um this is the 50 60 percent retracement level of that high and this low here so it can just pop down through here so if it does pop down through here then it will rally back up but what that will do that will give us the reference point low here below this the 650 number here price point here so um and if that's the case then we can just once that if it look if it moves down here we don't want to chase it um just let it be and then once it retests the level here then obviously set your short trades up first from that reference point low here now if we're and then that would take care of move uh, of a move from 650 down to 500 okay so that's a nice little um, move here okay so that's how I would handle the downside for the upside here of course I've just got this taking this high out here I know that we can move it down a bit further through here um, we could even move it down to the 700 here so a nice support on top of the 700 uh, area here as well okay so oh, but I'll let you handle that I'll just leave it there for the time being. And um, if I go to a tick chart and look at this here, just while we're drilling in here. So on the long side, <coughs> 
we can look at this first move down through here. This would be um, this would be of importance. So if the market came back up and you know if the market came back up here and breached that, then we know that it would be um, a corrective pattern at that particular point. Um, uh, so yeah, um, we talked about being long first of all above this high here. All right, so I'll just put this in. It's just the way that you know we just it's just the way that we work it to the down because that becomes our reference point at that particular point in time. And then we can bring it down to the next high here, which would be this one. Then we can bring it down to this one, to this one, to this one here. But if the market moves up through here, we get overlapping wave structures at this point here. So then it becomes um, uh, possible to go along from that point. So what we could say is that from moving that from getting support on top of the 700 would be a would be a fair and just uh reason to be long at that point but you would want that as uh as support because if we take this top here and this low here then that would be the 50 and the 60 percent retracement level at this particular stage in time here So I thought I'd just quickly um, label this here. So, um, yeah, if um, if if this this uh, wave four here, um, the market shouldn't really come any higher than the, these here. It may, it may pop up a little bit. It might be an A and a B and a C here. But what we're looking for, if if the market if the market moves down here for this wave five here of wave one, then we'll get an A and a B and a C back up into the twelve six eighty from that point. So if you see that this completes itself here and has the rally here, then you'll know to short it at that point. Um, but um, if this market just um, let's copy that makes a new high above here. Um, it's probably a bit riskier, but um, you could trade long from that point there because this here would leave this as an ABC correction down to this point here. If I can just copy this one here, would make that wave C here and actually move up from there. So taking this high out here, once the session starts, you know, on on uh, the, the, the Euro session, not beforehand, um, yeah, if that gets taken out here, then um, then you'll know that we're we're heading to the upside. But I do think there's a bit more downside to um, to come for for this here. So the short trade would be um, wave four, which may get a bit more complicated here than wave five, and then ABC back up. Um, and after that retest here, you'll have that reference point low. And if you can clearly see that this number here, the twelve six fifty, has got the resistance, then you can work with it from that point. So moving over to the Netherlands here for the AEX, we were looking at this still R as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave here. And the move up here uh, in the first leg here um, felt like it was impulsive, um, uh, an impulse wave. Um, and then we've had our correction. Um, so this little move up through here doesn't seem to have finished uh, either, but it has come down to overlap this top of this wave one here. So um, this is a little bit complicated in, in here, but it will seem, still seem one wave short from this particular point. But at the same time, we do need to put our stops under this low here. We know that Unilever has, has hit 50 euro and the trend up for that's not finished. Uh, it should pull back to about 49.50 before pushing up higher. Um, but what what occur here is that it may make this um, a bit more complex over here uh, in terms of something like this here. We may have to put the B wave here. I'm just not, not quite sure about this just yet here, but it's certainly looking sort of sluggish and being dragged around by the Euro. And it doesn't have that um, because Unilever's hit the um, the 50 euro mark and it's going to stall there, um, it's not you know so it's, Unilever's not going to help lift this up, but it will hold it around those prices there. But if this low here gets taken out, then it makes this here a corrective move here, and then if that's the case, then this will pop down here for wave. 
basically one, two, three, four, five in here, then an ABC here, and then it can come down into wave four, five here before moving off. So uh, just a bigger correction here. So we just need to keep the stop there and um, let's just uh, see how this um, pans out through here at this stage. It's just on trend line support, but yeah, if we get five waves down here, the same with the, um, the DAX, then we're gonna see this a little bit bearish here. And the FTSE will be uh, much the same. So what we were looking for here was, um, well, an A wave to here, and then a B wave all the way over to here, and then we were looking for a C wave down here. Now, I, I didn't know if that um, we should put, I mean, I just assumed that would have wave one here, wave two coming back to the 61.8% mark, but it's moved higher than that, so it's triggered our long trade, and then we'd have three, four, four. but still wave two can pull all the way back up to one point below this top here. So we're not out of the woods just yet, but we need to talk about that trade being triggered here. So we could have this wave C, this wave C here can be up here, based put under this low, low here, um, and then we can just continue to move up from that point. We've done the right things because we're above the um, above this level here, which is important. It's halfway between the 500 and the 800 is the 650, the same as the the DAX as well. We're looking at the 650 number, weren't we, which is a halfway point between here. So, we, you know, we got support on that. So we need to take the first high above the level. So we've done all the right things here. We just don't know how far we're going to go, that's all. So I don't know if this is wave one here or wave C here. Um, as such. I've had a look at the cash market and this counts as one and two and three and four and five here. So we can have that as wave one or two, or we can have it as wave A or B here. This little move up through here, just like the other markets, it just doesn't seem completed just yet. It should have another little move up, up through to here to finish that off, um, but then it can fail from that point there as well. Um, so I just don't, uh, I don't know, but um, what we can do is we can bring the stop uh, here and bring it a bit closer into the current price here. So let me just have a look at the have a look at the, the cash market on a small chart here. I mean, the interesting thing on the cash market, it, it makes this, um, the current move down through here from 7,750, it makes it um, corrective here. Yes, it does show it here as well here. So what I mean by that is that um, this little move here from the, from the top here, this move here is in three waves. So um, that's corrective here. So that would be an A wave and a B wave here and a C wave moving down through to here. And I need to look at that a bit closer. Definitely a wave four here. So we can have a low in place here already and have one more high coming in here at this stage. Um, I can't turn bearish on this, but other thing too is I wouldn't want to put the stop too close. To, this is the closest largest number here. So, um, we need to keep the stop under that there for the time being. So just coming back to the hourly chart here, we can, I'll just clean this up a little bit here. Sorry about that. So we'll just move the stop up under that 700 area here just to, um, don't put it at seven, don't put stops at whole numbers. You'll just get stopped out. So there should be another move up there based on looking at this here as probably even one and two here, and then one and two here, and then all of this, the third wave here, a fourth wave, and that should pull back to, if I take it from, yeah, that would do. So it's at its 38.2% retracement level here anyway. Um, and yeah, so I just think we'll stay stay with it for a second. Um, and where's this trend line here? Trend channeling through waves, low of wave one and two here. So yeah, we'll just leave the stop out of the way there for a while. Eh? Just Let's just see what we get first. 
and of course the Italian boss here. It's 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 got this it's got the same problem as the FTSE the bo this Italian boss here or borsa. Um, I don't speak Italian unfortunately, but um, so here <laughs> this is like the FTSE too because it's been really complicated the FTSE, and this has been quite complicated too. across here just a sideways pattern that's gotten a bit choppy but um, uh, my patience is relentless so um, we just um, stay with it so we know that we've got a long trade above above this above this high here we also know too that we would um, be long if this 22,000 became the support and it wouldn't be that um, uh, uh, it'd be easy but not quick so this here would be one and two and three here so from this low here if I can draw this out here we'll look at it in more detail but wave one and two here wave three here wave four here wave five here and then we'll get an A and a B in the C wave here and then we'll move up so really at the moment we're just in this little area here the top of the third so when we're saying that we're in the top of the third it could also be an A wave and a B wave and a C wave here and fail from there and move down from there so that's that's the problem that we have and a way to solve it is to allow the five waves to uh, you know to do its thing and then this particular if I could just configure this for a moment this becomes our trigger to the upside at that point so we don't need to be on top there we can come down to this one and of course we'll be able to come down to this high here too but that's how we solve that particular problem so at this stage here um, let's just save that and because I don't know if this is just wave one here and then we go back for wave two three four and five and come down to here or we can put wave five in here as done and dusted. I don't think we can because we're not really below wave three here. Um, normally, if it's a triangle pattern, we can take the the the, the top of from wave three here to wave A here, that distance here, which is this little stick here, I think from memory, roughly, yeah. And we can put that to wave four here. It'll give our distance down here. Um, so it is a little bit short um, in this instance, um, but yeah. So um, so this is where we were on the hourly chart here. So we don't know if we got wave one or wave five, and our little correction, if I can just update that a little bit, wave B over here. You could also have wave A top here too, I guess, um, but it doesn't really matter. What we can see here is this wave C here. Okay, so I'm just going to move these over here, move that over here. So we, you know, we're close in here. So if we had to count that up there, you can see that already. So we've got wave one here, wave two, wave three. It's doing wave four here at the moment. Um, and once it's done wave four, which you can pull back here somewhere, and then wave five here. So um, you know, if we were looking at this to the upside here, if I can copy that, then that, let me just, Make this a bit neater and tidier here so that would be if if we were looking at a bullish market that would be wave three this would be wave four pulling back in here somewhere and then would have wave five here so it would be the classic trading levels pattern where we have the um, the arrival the reaction as wave four here and then five waves up here for wave five and then we would have the a the b and the c wave pulling back down and then going up here or we would be going we need to look to go to short so we don't have a long trade set up here um i probably would have mentioned you can go long up here but um it's not not um it's not a big distance but look everybody trades differently don't they some just people are scalping and people are doing this and doing that so it's hard to um so look, that's the pattern that we'd look for to go um, to go long here. Now, in terms of going short, then the move down through here, one way we can look at it, it's a little bit laborious, but from this here to let's just say let's just say the market goes up to there, so it goes from wave four here 
and goes up to uh, 22,100 here, right? So then that would make the 61.8% retracement level here at the 50-60% mark here, right? And I'll just remove that there to clean things up. And I'll just remove that. So one way to do it, if we came down to this point here, down to the 61.8% in five waves, then we know that because we got five waves here after a correction here, then we'd be going down here again. Um, if we got to this point, 61.8% here, and we only had three waves down to this point, the 61.8%, then we know that it's likely to be bullish at that point. So then we might be able to get a better entry in. But if we get five waves to that point, then we know that we need to look to go short um, at that point. Just trying to copy that horizontal segment there, copy that, put that through there. So we really, we have to wait really for that to, to come into play here. Um, and I better just delete that there and we'll just put put five waves there just to sort of remind me a little bit. I mean, I don't normally change what I say, so it doesn't really matter about remembering it too much. Um, so, um, yeah, look, first of all, let's get this finished up here. Um, yeah, I mean, the, o the other side to this too, of course, is that if we do get this wave C here, and then we get wave four here and wave five here. If we get five waves up here, then we know that we're gonna be bullish anyway. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, look, there hasn't been much joy in this market for, uh, for quite some time. We've just been trapped sideways here. I felt that we've worked through it okay. Um, it's just been a little bit tricky and, uh, and I'm not totally familiar with this particular market, but um, yeah, let's, we, we still have to be patient to wait for, for all of this here, but we're still working with this number here, 22,000. It hasn't been rejected and it hasn't been accepted yet. So um, we just have to um, be a good employee and uh, wait to be told what to do. Alrighty, cheers, thank you.